This is a follow-up video to a video made uh, exactly a year ago called Cold Damage on Avocado Trees. So this is uh, February, I think, 27th, 2021. And last year, I showed some trees after a 25 degree night in February, 2020. This is a reed tree here. It got pretty badly damaged. And as you can see, the canopy grew back very nicely in the last year and it's also setting up for a good bloom now but a lot of fruit dropped before uh, harvest last summer over a hundred avocados dropped and I was only able to harvest 39 at maturity um, and what I noticed was uh, in the video I mentioned that most of the avocados that had brown stems I figured would probably drop and that was the case wasn't always the case though some of the fruit with brown stems didn't end up dropping but mostly those were the fruit that dropped so that was a that was the story with this tree now this has tree the foliage fared a lot better than that reed um, and the uh, fruit did too, but it only was carrying 70 avocados. None of them dropped, but that's a pretty small crop for a tree of this size. So I, I guessed that the tree wasn't as affected by the cold because it wasn't carrying the heavy crop that the reed was. Um, it, it also, this tree didn't bloom last year. And so it has zero avocados on it this year was that because of the cold or was that just natural alternate bearing i don't know uh, it's hard to know but but for sure sometimes the cold can have um, two years worth of effects that is it can cause fruit to drop like it did on the reed and it can damage the outer uh, branches so much that there's little to no uh, bloom that spring and so you get no crop the following year as well um, you know if you look at avocado trees they they primarily bloom on the on the outer part of the canopy um, at the either the tips of branches like that or um, or or sort of close to the ends of branches where they get the most sunlight Another tree that I showed was this uh, little charwill. Um, what I said in the video was that I, I protected it with a beach umbrella, and that seemed to work pretty well. And you can see that the tree's healthy and happy, it grew well last year. Um, on the other hand, some young trees of the same age that I didn't protect, or I just put um, frost blankets over them, the Agrabon 50 frost blankets that wasn't enough and uh, those trees were badly damaged or some of them even died so I'm convinced that on a real cold night like 25 degrees you need either to double up those kinds of thin frost blankets or using some kind of roof a thicker roof like a piece of board or a beach umbrella is better or you can add some lights under the blanket to raise the heat. Last thing, uh, this is a Nabal on the left and a Carmen on the right. And I mentioned that these trees were fairly healthy going into that cold spell. And, um, and what I also mentioned was that there was a little gem tree that was not healthy. It had been attacked by a gopher and kind of sunburned and such. It was up in this area up here and it ultimately died and so my observation was basically that uh, the health of a tree going into a cold spell um, makes a big difference on how that tree will handle the cold and um, yeah that's uh, that's definitely been borne out these trees have have come back really nicely even though their foliage got a little burned back and you know they're they're fairly big they're gonna bloom well here this spring and so um, that observation held up 
and uh, that's it. I'm happy we didn't have any 25 degree nights on this last winter.